Aloha, and welcome to the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. I am your host, Gwendolyn Harris. My guest today was born and raised in Houston, Texas, and began singing before he began speaking. He got his start in the church as a member of his family gospel group, the Walker Brothers. With aspirations of attending the new school for jazz and contemporary music, he sold his bass amp and bought a one-way ticket to New York where he began another chapter in his musical journey. In his tenure at the school, the, this musician was afforded the opportunity to play with such jazz greats as Ornette Coleman, Art Blakey, Bob James, Jimmy Heath, Cassandra Wilson, and countless others. His musicianship garnered him a position as the musical director for R&B songstress Regina Bell as well as touring with Ornette Coleman. This musician's first released, first time, produced two top five singles, Giving You All My Love and Take Time, which crossed over to become top 30 on the pop charts. His second release, entitled Sincerely Yours, included the classic song, How Do You Heal a Broken Heart? written by Chris and Carol Bayer Sager, which has received over 40 million views on YouTube. As a student and lover of jazz music, it was an opportunity that, can, that came via a former teacher, Gil Goldstein, that would bring to fruition a longtime dream of his to work as musical director with seven-time Grammy Award winner Al Jarreau. Chris was co-executive producer for Bossa Nova Noetis, which produced shows for the USOC, French, German, and Japanese houses during the 2016 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, featuring Daniel Jobum and Electra and Alexandra Jackson. In 2014, this musician co-founded and serves as president of DocFest, a nonprofit organization that raises scholarship funds for deserving high school for the performing and visual arts. HBS, HBSBVA Houston students attending the New School for Jazz and Contemporary Music in New York. He is currently working on a tribute CD to honor the life and legacy of his mentor and friend, Al Jarreau. My guest has worked with Al Jarreau, George Benson, Foreplay, Yolanda Adams, Regina Bell, Dave Kaz, Jonathan Butler, Kurt Whalum, Lisa Fisher, Gerald Albright, Jeffrey Osborne, Ornette Coleman, Bob James, Boney James, Cassandra Wilson, Diane Reeves, Jimmy Heath, Dee Dee Bridgewater, Daniel Jobum, Helen Sung, Peter White, Alice Bouillon, Candy Dulfer, Mindy Abair, Sheila E., Rick Braun, and many more. That was just to name a few. Please welcome my guest, Mr. Chris, Chris Walker, to the show. What's uh, up? Aloha. <laughs> How are you? Aloha. Thank you oh, so you much. I, you, yeah, you didn't know who it was, huh? You was like, who is that? <laughs> you have been busy. Thank you so much for joining joining us on the show because I know at the time, what time is it where you are? It is uh, actually 10.08. So I, it, it, it's like probably past your bedtime. I'm keeping you up. I'm sorry. Past my bedtime? No, I'm, I'm so burning the midnight oil. <laughs> I'm sorry. But again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to, and to my viewers, before we get started, and we're going to talk about this later, Mr. Chris Walker will be here in a few weeks with Dave Kaz. They will be at Blue Note yes. Hawaii with Dave Kaz mm -hmm. and Adam Hawley. And I am ex so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait to see that show. I know that's going to be an awesome show. I know you're ready to come to Hawaii, yeah? Look here, make sure you bring your dancing shoes. Oh, really? Okay. Well, we have been warned. Oh, yeah. We have been warned. We have been warned. So Chris, so, Chris, tell me, in reading your bio at the beginning, you have a very mm -hmm. strong, you have very strong roots in the church. How was it growing up in a musical family? 
Um, it was awesome. My brothers and I, we, we had a family gospel group called the Walker Brothers. Mm-hmm. And I started off on the drums. And my father put the bass guitar in my hand upside down because I'm left-handed. So I uh-huh. played like Jimi Hendrix. Oh, wow. And um, uh, yeah, so I, I played bass and sang. And my uh, oldest brother played guitar. And my youngest brother played drums. And we, we had a family gospel group. We actually opened up for Shirley Caesar, the Mighty Clouds of Joy. And oh, wow. A lot of famous quartet style gospel, uh, gospel singers. So uh-huh. it, it, was, it, was, it was awesome. It was awesome. Oh, my goodness. I wish I had seen that. You need to, I need to see some video of that now. <laughs> I need to see some video of that. I really do. <laughs> well, I have a few recordings. <laughs> oh, do you? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, you said that you play the bass and you play the drums. Are there any other instruments that you play? Basically, uh, just the rhythm instruments, the piano, okay. uh, guitar, bass, and drum, pretty much. That, that, I mean, I, I dabble with percussion, but primarily the, just the uh, rhythm section. Oh, wow. I see. I need to hear that. All this, you know, I, well, I read also, your bio. It, 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 I, I play percussion with my, with my mouth, too. Which, which I'll, I'll demonstrate uh, when I come there. To oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Yeah, the mouth is an instrument also. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, <laughs> you worked with Miss Regina Bell, and I had the pleasure of meeting her and seeing her when she came to Hawaii. It was a couple years ago. She was at the Blue Note as well. How was that, working with Regina Bell? Uh, working with Regina Bell was awesome. As, as a matter of fact, that's, that's how I got my start in the business. I'll tell you a quick story. Uh-huh. Um, there was a drummer by the name of Abe Fogel. I was attending the new school for jazz and contemporary music in New York City. And he told me uh, about an audition for Regina Bell. He said, why don't you come down and audition as well? So I said, OK. So I, I, I go down to the audition with my bass guitar. And in walks Regina. And I'm playing. And she ended up hiring me on the spot. Wow. And shortly afterwards, I became her musical director. Now, she did a song with James J.T. Taylor from the movie Taps entitled All I Want Is Forever. Mm-hmm. And she tried to get him to come and sing it. And, you know, he was either too busy or he wanted a ton of money, a limo and everything else. But anyway, <laughs> so she said, Chris, why don't you sing? It? And I, at first I declined and I said, no. Because at the time I was, I was 18, you know, and I was nervous and I was just like, no, that's OK. I was comfortable behind the bass guitar. Mm-hmm. But she said, just sing the first three lines of the song. So I did. And she stopped the band and she looked at me and she said, you're singing this song whether you want to or not. Oh, wow. You have a great voice. You're singing it. End of story. So from singing that duet with her and traveling with her, um, we did a, a, a show once for some executive for CBS. And one of the gentlemen there left CBS and started his own label and actually signed me as his first artist. And, uh, and the journey began. Wow, what a journey. Now, I know yeah. I read in your bio uh-huh. um, where you, you just left Houston with a, with, a little bit of money, with a little bit of money in your pocket and went to New That's York. That's right. A little bit of money, but a lot of faith. Exactly. And you have to have faith. You have to Absolutely. have faith. But look at, look at where you are now. It, that, and, it and all started you, there. Now, I wouldn't advise your your uh, audience to do this if they're, you know, 18, uh, you know, 18 years old. But what I did, uh-huh. I, I walked to the kitchen with my bags packed and I told my parents, I'm moving to New York City. And they looked at me and they were like, what? You're going where? But <laughs> I put out an application to attend the new school uh, for jazz contemporary music. And the school told me not to come because I didn't have the funds. Mm. So I had a bass amp, sold the bass amp. Bought a one-way ticket to New York, and school was already a month in progress. So when I arrived, I, I walked into the uh, auditorium, and I heard, heard music, and some guys were on stage, and just so happened, they didn't have a bass player. So they invited me up to play. Mm. So as I'm playing along, the dean of the school walked in and then struck over the program and gave me a full scholarship. To go to school. So. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now, that was faith. That, that was faith. Hey. You know, and, and, and the word says that, you know, the steps of a good man are ordered. But you have to be moving in order for them to be ordered. Yes. If you're standing in still, they can't be ordered. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, you worked with your mentor, Mr. Al Jarreau. Ooh, yes, indeed. How was that? I simply loved Al Jarreau. I loved him. Oh, my goodness. 
Wow. Well, the, the picture that you're seeing right now is the cover, mm -hmm. uh, which was hand painted by uh, the gentleman's name is Pascal Martos, and he's out of Paris. Uh -huh. And um, this is the cover for the, the new CD that I'm that I that I'm completed. Actually, it's entitled We're in This Love Together Celebrating Al Jarreau. And if you look at the guest list, um, it includes Gerald Albright. I Gina see Bale, that Randy list. Brown, long list. And yes. uh, I tell you, it's a la it's been a labor of love. And, and, and so far, everyone that has heard it has reached out to me and just gave it, given it rave reviews. I mean, rave reviews. And in fact, I'll probably perform a few of those songs uh, from that project uh, in Hawaii. Oh, awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear it. Now, when is the CD? When will the CD be out? Is it is it out already? Can we get it now? Are we still working on it or what? Actually, it's not out. The release okay. is it's not out yet because uh, I'm working on worldwide distribution. Okay. However, I will bring uh, some copies to uh, to Hawaii to the Blue Note specifically yes. for the Blue Note. So you all yes. have it before anybody else. Wow. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Oh, I'm, I'm excited now. We got two weeks so I can get this album. Two hey, weeks. Hey, now you're talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I mentioned, <laughs> I mentioned your foundation in, in, in your introduction. Tell us some more about mm -hmm. that. Tell us some more about that. Okay, well, DocFest um, was uh, co-founded uh, by Tamar Davis mm -hmm. and I. We, we're graduates uh, from the High School for the Performing and Visual Arts in Houston. Mm -hmm. And, of course, my association uh, with the New School for Jazz and Contemporary Music. We wanted to start something uh, to honor my high school teacher and also to raise scholarship funds for deserving students going to the New School. So the foundation was started in 2014. And since its uh, inception, we've raised uh, the, the scholarship fund is now at probably at a close to $160,000. Oh, okay, nice. And we started with a $25,000 corpus, but now it's up to $160,000, and we're we're growing every every year. So nice. one year we had um, Al Jarreau came and performed for us, uh, Bob James, um, Everett Harp, uh, Robert Glasper came uh, last year, uh -huh. and uh, Gerald Albright. So, you know, it's just it, it, it's continuing to grow and we're, we're, we're helping students go to college because it's it's terribly expensive. <laughs> yes, it is. And that leads into um, my next question. And, and I ask mm -hmm. all of my guests this because I grew up playing music mm -hmm. in the schools, but now, you know, they're mm -hmm. taking it out of the schools. So I see that I your, I, your organization looks like it's helping. It's helping. What else, do you, what else do you think we can do? Well, I think, you know, collectively, if we maybe uh, start um, asking people to donate instruments, mm -hmm. perhaps, and try to implement after school programs and teach, uh, teach uh, kids how to play an instrument. Okay. I mean, it, and just take a few volunteers to do it, but um, it's possible because one of the things that I'd like to do is, is also start a summer program where we're mentoring kids. Nice. Uh, and it's, you know, instrumentalists, vocalists. Um, and um, and giving them an outlet, you know, for the summer, and then and do a, a big concert at the end of the uh, the summer uh, camp. Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, see, you need to be here in Hawaii because that's 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 what we need to do in the schools in the schools here for sure. Now, what are what would we, what would you for new musicians or new artists coming up? Because there's uh -huh. a lot of them. Some make it right. and some don't. True. What would you tell a new artist that's coming up today? Well, the music business has definitely changed. Mm -hmm. And you can actually, you don't need the big record companies anymore to release a project. Mm -hmm. Although having the machine behind you certainly helps with the, with the distribution. But, but my advice would be you have to stay true to who you are. and kind of uh, chart your own path and, and stick to it. Okay. Um, you're going to run into a lot of people that, that's going to tell you what you can't do. But I'm a firm believer that you speak what you want to happen yes. into existence and it will come to you. So that's what I've been doing all, my, all of my life and I continue to do it to this day. I mean, that's how I was, I was able to complete the Al Jarreau tribute uh, CD. In fact, I, I launched a Kickstarter campaign of 30 days and I was able to meet my goal and, and raise enough funds to complete the project. So go after it. Uh, 
pray on it, trust God, and he'll deliver every single time. Nice, nice. Well, we have to go on a quick break, but I promise you, we, we no. have to go on a break. You know, we got to, no. we, we, no. yes, I know, okay. I know, but we'll be right back. Don't go away. Right, we'll good. be right back. All right. Aloha, this is Winston Welch. I am your host of Out and About, where every other week, Mondays at three, we explore a variety of topics in our city, state, nation, and world, and uh, events, organizations, the people that fuel them. It's a really interesting show. We welcome you to tune in, and we welcome your suggestions for shows. Um, you got a lot of them out there, and we have an awesome a studio here where we can get your ideas out as well. So I look forward to you tuning in every other week where we've got some great guests and great topics. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to come away inspired like I do. So I'll see you every other week here at three o'clock on Monday afternoon. Aloha. Aloha and welcome to At the Crossroads. I'm your host, Tisha King. You can catch me every Wednesday, alive at five. I'll see you there. Aloha and welcome back to the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. And I am your host, Gwendolyn Harris. Today we have a very special guest via satellite, Skype, whatever we're using here in the studio, Mr. Chris Walker. Hi again. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. See, this is this is what happens, you know, when you deal with the with the Skype issue. But again, thank you so much for for being here. Again, to my viewers that are just joining us, Mr. Walker will be here in Hawaii in a few weeks. I'm counting it down because I can't wait so to see him. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. <laughs> yes, we're gonna do that too. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Walker, Chris Walker, will be here at Blue Note Hawaii with Dave Cos and Adam Hawley. Get your yes. tickets. Get your tickets. Thank don't you very much. don't miss it. Don't miss it because I'll probably be at all the shows. You know, Blue Note's my second home. But now, <laughs> getting, getting back to you, we've talked about mm -hmm. you working with Regina Bell. We've talked right. about you working with Mr. Al Jarreau and various other artists, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, is there any artist who you haven't collaborated with yet or haven't worked with yet that you would like to work with? Well, there are a few, but uh, I have to say, Stevie Wonder is pretty high on my list. <laughs> You're the second person to say that. Everybody says that. Everybody says Stevie I mean, Wonder. I mean, I, I love his music. And uh, I, I, one time I was, at, I was probably like five feet from him. And uh, he was getting ready to go on stage. because um, I knew some of his band members. And I, I started to walk up to him and just say, hey, Stevie, how you doing? But he was preparing to go on stage. And I, I said, no, but I missed that opportunity but I wish I, I could go back and, and, and get it to me. See, him. you should have went for it. You should have went for yeah. that. You should <laughs> You should have went for that. It was that, <laughs> that, that opportunity, but I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it, it'll come up. It'll come up again. Yeah. Now you're going to be I, coming. Huh? Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. no, I was going to, I was going to, I was going to say, I actually met him years ago when, um, when I was Regina Bell's music director. It's, it's too funny because well, we, she performed in, in, Los Angeles and Stevie came to the show. And so in, we're, we're in the green room and in comes Stevie and he sits down at the piano and he starts playing and singing. And of course, Regina's singing with him. And in walks Eddie Murphy with about five bodyguards. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it was oh, hilarious. Wow. That must have been something else. That must yeah. have been something else. Yeah, it was quite funny. So, and I, and I had an opportunity to meet Denzel Washington. He actually, he came to, uh, he, he came to see uh, Nancy Wilson one time and Regina went as well. And we all got a chance to just kind of hang out a little bit. And I, mm -hmm. I, I was surprised that he was as 
as, sh- as short as he is. But anyway, <laughs> not to ruin it for you, ladies, but I'm taller than Denzel. No. Oh, no. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> sorry, Denzel. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Love your acting, though. Love your acting. But, uh, <laughs> now, as we talked about your project that you're doing or your yeah. CD that, that's coming out, with the uh-huh. tribute to Al Jarreau. What else do you have coming out? What, 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 what other things are you doing? What tours are you going on? What, what do you have that's coming up? Let us know. You never okay, know. Well, there I might just, be somebody out there that's going to be, oh, I want to go see him. Right. Well, I just finished the Dave Cos Cruise, which was, uh, it sailed for two weeks in Australia. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went to Bernie, Tasmania, uh, Eaton, and uh, one other location, but, which was awesome. Um, and right after that, I recently performed at the Berks Jazz Festival mm-hmm. um, in Redding, Pennsylvania, which is a huge festival. It's a 10-day festival. And um, I'm getting ready, of course, to go to Japan, Hawaii, and then I'm performing in Mallorca, Spain. Oh, um, wow. Right after. So there's a lot of things on, on the table. And um, I have an announcement uh, for the uh, Christmas holidays, but I, I can't share it just yet. Not yet. I can't share it just yet, but it's an upcoming tour that I'm I'm excited about it and I'm 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 actually a part of it. So oh, but nice. I, I'll share it perhaps by the time I get there. Okay. <laughs> well we'll we'll be looking forward to it. We definitely will be looking looking forward to that. Now, you guys, you, Dave Kaz, and uh-huh. Adam Hawley will be here in a few weeks. What can right. we expect from this awesome trio, these great men that are coming at Blue Note Hawaii? What can we expect? Well, as you very well know, Dave Calls is an incredible performer, mm-hmm. and so is Adam Hawley. And, and the thing about it is it's going to be an energetic show. It's going to take you on some emotional roller coaster. And the main thing is that we're just going to have a good time playing okay. some great music. And um, I think there's going to be something for everybody. So, so make sure you come. Get your tickets early before, it, before the shows sell out. Yes. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. A lot of fun. And if you're an Al Jarreau fan, make sure you come because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a few selections off of the new CD. Oh, so, awesome. So speaking of doing on. selections. Yes. Are you, <laughs> would you be able to just like, you know, give us a little sample of what what we're going to hear at Blue Note Hawaii? OK, well, one of my let's see, uh, I'll give you this one. Let me see. Come on in, Mr. Radio. I'm on in little cheerio. I'm on in system door I need out of you. Everything is fine. in my mind. Well done. And my favorite part is the bridge. My heart will mm. soar. Yeah. <laughs> we love that's rare and we. My smiling face will fit in every cloud. I need you to sing in a second. Then <laughs> <laughs> then then higher feel beyond the blue until I know I can like any bird reach out my hand. And touch the face of God. Woo! Okay, get your tickets, everybody. Get your tickets to go see. You go to bluenotehawaii.com. Get your tickets, because I already got mine. I got mine. I got mine. I already have my ticket. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you. Now, oh, I can't wait now. I cannot wait. <laughs> and I also, I, wait. I'd like to share with your listeners, if you want to get to know me a little bit more, you can check me out on my website, chriswalkersmusic.com, or you can look me up on YouTube. I have a, a number of videos. Um, in fact, I mentioned Stevie Wonder. I recently added to uh, YouTube a link um, of me singing um, uh, Overjoyed. Oh, I love I that song. Did it. Overjoy, and I did a wonderful arrangement for the Dave Cos Cruise. So check that out if you get a chance, and some of my other videos as well. Um, uh, one of my songs, How Do You Heal a Broken Heart, that I wrote, that you mentioned earlier with mm-hmm. Cara Bear Sager, it's over 55 million views now. 
Wow. So yeah, so, wow. so check me out. Check Everybody me out check him out. Check him yeah. out. You Get have to, to check him out. Response. Yes. Oh, another thing I'd like to share. Uh-huh. Um, I'm doing a show. I have a, a very uh, large uh, audience uh, fan base in South Africa. Oh, wow. And I'm going there, performing there at the Sun Arena, um, July 8th. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, July 7th, I'm sorry, in Pretoria. Okay. And um, and I have a special guest that's actually coming along with me. I can't share now, but I will uh, by the time I get there. <laughs> oh, okay. So that means people have to get their tickets to South Africa now, huh? To come Hello. To come. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> <laughs> to come to, exactly to follow right. you now, to follow you. And you, and you, and you, get, you, get, you get a full 90, 90, 90 to 100 10-minute show of Chris Walker. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Everybody, you heard that, right? Again, get your <laughs> tickets. Chris Walker will be here in Hawaii in a few weeks with Dave Cons and Adam Hawley. This is a show you yes. do not want to miss. I'm telling you, you just right. heard how he sang just now, and he's not even on the stage. He's not on the stage. I know, and I was, I was holding back. I was holding back. <laughs> 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 well, Chris, I thank you so much for being here mm -hmm. on the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My pleasure. And thank I cannot wait having... to meet you. I cannot wait to meet you in a few weeks. Yes, we're going to eat lobsters and we're going to just have fun, Yes, right? yes. I, I, I owe you. I owe you. I owe you. I truly owe you. I owe you. But thank you so much. Oh, you're more than welcome. Thank and we, you. we will see you in a few weeks. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. Come on out and party. That's right. Everybody, come on out to Blue Note Hawaii and come and see Chris Walker, Dave Cos, and Adam Hawley. I'm telling you, it's not going to be a show that you do not want to miss. But our time right. has come to an end here. Thank no. you so much. I know. Thank you so <laughs> much, Chris, for being here with us. I will see you in a few weeks. And everyone else, I will see you next week. Aloha. All right. Aloha.